That is no man's land, stopping at the end of the punches of Rigondo. Right there, Vincent must not lay there. He allows Rigondo to have full extension on that back hand for the southpaw, the left hand. And Rigondo has power in that hand. Okay, champ. Uh -huh. We got two more rounds. We got one more minute to do everything you want to do. Okay? Stand up. Aaron Vincent, a two-time United States flyweight champion. With two more rounds, as Israel Acosta put it, the winner goes to the final to buy for the goal. I believe Vincent must start. It's pretty obvious he has to start throwing leather and make things happen. I believe he needs to do it one of two ways. Either get inside where he gets past that power zone of the Cuban or get close enough where he can get his punches in, get his punches out. Get in, get out. Start using his speed. Right now, Vincent has been reduced to a one-punch fighter. And that is not serving the speed of Clarence Vincent. That was a trip. Clarence Vincent is a speed fighter, Mark. Not a one-punch fighter. And he's not able to get close to the Cuban, Rigondo. I think he's showing a little too much respect. For the track record of the Cuban. The reputation of the Cuban. The Cuban has been very, very impressive in this tournament. The five point lead for Rigondo. And a caution against Vincent for a hold. I think Vincent's a little intimidated. That's a scoring punch and an eight count. Clarence Vincent taking the count. Mark Vincent is throwing his punches from too far away. That usually shows you a guy who's just not confident to get close enough to let the punches go. And Vincent is put down. Staying at the end of the punches of Rigondo, the power zone, the danger zone. That's the second eight count. Three and a round, and the bout is stopped. Four and a bout, and it's all over. And Vincent is coming straight in. He's going to continue oh. getting hit left hand. And the legs look wobbly. It's a 16-4 lead for Guillermo Rigondo of Cuba. Israel Acosta in the corner of Clarence Benson says, got to be a street fight. Basically, he's saying you have to knock him out. There's no way. And there's a little spin, a little turn by Rigondo before not Clarence Benson off balance. And there was the left hand by Rigondo again. The left hand, Rigondo, you could see Clarence Benson was put down by a left hand for one reason. He was standing in the danger zone, in the power zone of the left hand, right there. Exactly what we talked about that Vincent must not do. Cuba looking to put an end to a five-bout losing streak. Fourth and final round. Rigondo of Cuba in the blue. Vincent of the United States in the red. Sometimes after you've been hurt, it can help you. What I mean by that, Mom, it's not just silly talk. What it means is now the nerves are gone. Now you don't worry about getting hit. You just go fight. That is the only hope Clarence Vinson has right now, catching up with this very talented Cuban fighter. But he's moving the wrong way. Clarence Vinson should be moving to his left, away from the power of the left hand of the Cuban. He's moving to his right, and he's coming straight in to the power of the Cuban. Wrong way. Rigondo being very careful, cautious, well aware that he has the big lead. He can kind of pick his spots. Vincent having difficulty reaching him, that right from the start. Part of it's the style, but just watch, Mark. Watch how Vincent will slow from too far away. To me, my experience, and why punches. That's the sign of a guy getting desperate. Guy hoping 
rather than belief. A guy who's not quite sure that he can commit himself, so he throws from a little too far away. A guy who might be a little too respectful. Down to a half minute remaining in the bout. When you're disciplined and you completely show yourself, you can work your way in close, even with a difficult style. As gutsy as Vince has been in this tournament, he has not completely sure of himself with this Cuban, Rigondo. That is why he's having trouble committing himself to the distance he needs to get into to throw. And time is running out on Clarence Vincent. An overwhelming victory for Guillermo Rigondo of Cuba that ends the five-bout losing streak and another American has been eliminated. Three in the semifinals tomorrow, and that's it. The down to three. Out of all the Cubans that the American Clarence Vincent could have faced at this point, in my estimation, he probably faced the most talented one, Rodondo. We talked right at the, uh, the start about the comparisons that were made prior to the Olympic competition for the 1976 team. Well, now, as it turns out, the U.S. has three remaining boxers in the semifinals tomorrow. And you look back at Atlanta, which was not considered to be uh, a success story, but they captured one gold, and that was certainly a, a dramatic uh, pullout of a loss by David Reed and five bronze. So Guillermo Rigondo of Cuba advances to the gold medal final as he convincingly defeats Clarence Vinson.